talks in Afghanistan, as we heard from Chuck Todd, may be derailed before they even begin. Today, President Hamid Karzai suspended talks with the U.S. on what American forces might stay in Afghanistan after 2014. At first, U.S. officials sounded a cautious but optimistic note about the opening of this Taliban office in Doha. Uh, it's good news. We're very pleased with what has taken place. That's not what the president of Afghanistan thought because of this sign announcing a kind of headquarters for the Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan, the name of the country when the Taliban was in charge. Hamid Karzai has suspended all talks, not just with the Taliban, but the United States as well. The sign has been taken down. But as a consequence, the U.S. won't likely be talking to the Taliban Thursday. But the State Department is desperately trying to avoid admitting they were even going to. Uh, we never confirmed that was a meeting uh, from here. Um, she didn't confirm so again, it. The White House did. Senior officials telling reporters off camera this. The U.S. will have its first formal meeting with the Taliban, and indeed first meeting with the Taliban for several years, in a couple of days in Doha. President Obama hopes Afghanistan will still take part in talks. The parties there have been fighting for a very long time, uh, even before 9-11. And uh, we don't expect that it will be easy, but we do think ultimately we're going to need to see Afghans talking to Afghans about how they can move forward uh, and end the cycle of violence there so that they can start uh, actually building their country. The much, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has told President Karzai that the Taliban has promised to take the sign down. President Karzai says he may now be willing to continue the talks with the United States. But building a lasting peace in Afghanistan still looks a long way off. It'll be difficult to have any kind of consequential uh, peace talks with the Afghan government uh, not involved. These were supposed to be not only talks between the United States and the Taliban, of course the Afghan government uh, was supposed to be uh, largely involved and this was supposed to become an Afghan-led peace process uh, very, very quickly. That is the precise reason why Afghan President Hamid Karzai has decided to pull out. He wants this to be Afghan-led uh, from the start. Clearly there is disappointment here from the Afghan president uh, that the Taliban are not uh, following the preconditions that the United States have or used to have, because this includes uh, 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 getting away from any type of violence on the ground. You saw from yesterday that is not the case with uh, further attacks at Bagram Air Base, for example. Uh, and also the Taliban, according to U.S. preconditions, was supposed to reject any kind of links uh, with al-Qaeda. They haven't done so uh, officially yet. All of these reasons uh, why these peace negotiations are not getting off the ground yet.